Hey there Aquarius, welcome to Lady of the Unknown Oracle. My name is Sophie and this is your March 2023 reading. Thank you so much for joining me. Kindly remember that this is a general reading and that time is fluid, so please apply what resonates currently and suspend the rest. This reading can be applied to relationships, career, and personal growth, as well as to the sign of Aquarius wherever it presents in your birth chart. I do offer personal readings and you can find my information in the description box below. If you enjoyed today's reading, please remember to like, share, subscribe, and leave a comment below. I would love to hear from you. And with that, Aqua, let's get started. So I'm going to start first with an oracle card to get an idea of the theme and energy at play. And then we're going to pull a Celtic cross spread using the tarot, which we will then clarify using the Lenormand. So let's see here, please, for Aqua, March 2023. Aquarius for March 2023. Ooh, happy, happy. All right, so with a 26 reduces to an eight, you could be connecting with a Leo. But this is beautiful energy, Aqua. This right off the bat is just evidence that everything you've been doing up to this point is really working out. And I will say this, if it's something that you have not been working towards directly, you are going to find yourself in a much improved space, Aqua. You're going to be, you're going to meet all the right people. You're going to engage in, in all the right energies. You're going to feel blissful, happy, happy. This is not um, sort of that contentment that grows with something familiar and constant. Happy, happy is indicative that you've achieved something. Ha happiness um, usually becomes contentment over time, right? But to be happy it's such, it's such a stimulation. It's because something new is here, a new person, um, a new friendship, a new commitment, a new job prospect, a new title. Uh, this is new. This is, this is new. It's invigorating. It's motivating. It makes everything that you've done up to this point worth it. And in some regard, you even forget the hardship you, you endured before arriving at this point. So Aqua, right off the bat, you're going to be faced with more happiness than you can handle even. So I hope you're ready. <laughs> and congratulations. Whatever this is, it's worth celebrating. Ooh, okay. An important connection, romantic or otherwise. This could also be emotional balance. So if you've been faced with feelings of um, discontent as of recently, Aqua, you'll, you'll find that that's going to be changing very soon. But this is strong, strong relationship energy, friendship energy. It's a new connection and it's mutual. Well, in the recent past, feelings of embarrassment, you went through something recently that did not feel, it did not feel good. An old partnership or a situation, regardless of this particular partnership, um, a situation just had you feeling really depleted. You knew this person too, that's what hurts. You thought you knew this person, whoever this was in the past. Leo energy here. Best case scenario is that you pull through. Let's see, let me lay all the cards down. You may be connecting with a Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius. You may be connecting with a Cancer. Okay, so this is what I'm going to share with you, Aqua, okay? The person you're connecting with, if this is love for you, romantic, platonic, whatever this is, it's a new relationship. It's mutual, first of all. But this person has been hurt before. This Five of Swords does not necessarily have to pertain to you, although it can, and this is your reading, 
okay? But if that does not resonate, it is very possible that because of how closely tied you and this person are, you can empathize with the kind of pain they might be feeling. You're going to find this month or whenever you happen upon this reading that the person you're connecting with is still healing from a betrayal if this five of swords was them. If this is you, then it is that pain that you experienced in the recent past that has left you feeling very defensive, but is also going to be um, an important point of discussion, all right? Because I am seeing that whoever this was that was in this Five of Swords energy is still in pain. And because of that, it is the reason they are putting their walls so high up. Coming in, you've got the Nine of Pentacles. So there's this feeling of being single and happy and preferring that to an extent. Yeah, you could have the Ten of Pentacles, right? Um, but that requires the ace. The ace is the commitment. It is the one. It is the, the, the person, the person. Okay. And it is such a gift to have that ace that there's a part of you, Aqua, if you are in, in this pain, right? It is easy to look at that ace of pentacles and say, it does not exist for me. So it's, it's possible to be single and be perfectly fine with being single because the ace may not exist in your mind, right? But whoever this is, there is somebody here who is very happy being single. They are afraid that it's not everything it's cracked up to be, that their contentment is short-lived. But the universe is going to be giving you an opportunity to explore this emotional event further. And because happy, happy is the energy guiding your reading, Aqua, I find that you're going to be pleasantly surprised that while this, what's coming in, this energy, may feel scary, right? Because it's bringing up some old stuff. It's actually the first step in a very positive direction. Strong soulmate energy here as well. People from your past who are affecting this situation and the person you are connecting with right now um, are important soulmate connections, okay? And this came flying out, the star card, destiny. No coincidences here. Aqua, please. Aqua, please. Clarifications for Aqua, please. Aquarius, March 15th. Okay. All right, Aquarius. So in your current space, you are connecting with someone. This is a new connection. If it's someone you're familiar with, it's a renewed connection. There is something here, there's a spark and a mutual attraction that's begun, a mutual friendship that's begun. For those of you where this is just within your own self, you are finding that you are very balanced these days and you're happy and you're stable. Being clarified with the lily, right? This is about being in a space where it is just, it's gentle. The lily is a gentle energy. This relationship is sweet. The balance you feel is sweet. It just, it adds, it, it softens the edges of life. It, it creates this feeling where you can float through your daily tasks without much thought. You can float through all of your, just all of your responsibilities. The relationship fills you with a level of tranquility and serenity. And that's the energy you share with this person. It's just very calming. And secure. I'm also getting for some of you that you met this person at a ceremony of some kind. Now in the past you have the five of swords so somebody here um, you or the person you're connecting with was in a, a situation where they felt taken advantage of they felt very defeated 
very, it, it was a painful situation and it was a commitment that left them feeling this way. It was long term. So whatever this person endured, it was for a very long time and it was with someone or in a situation, right, for a job, for, for a career path, etc. It was for something that was supposed to be forever. And it ended up just ending in heartbreak. There was a betrayal of that trust and there was a severance of that contract. What that was supposed to be became nullified. The reason it's all happening is the Six of Cups. There may be children involved. If that's the case, then it's possible this person found out that someone they were connecting with had children. They didn't know about this. That they were engaging with a past partner. They didn't know about this. Um, that they were engaging in some kind of casual situation. Um, having fun, so to speak, right? Because of the, ch the childlike energy here. Um, someone was not taking this seriously. It could also be, right, that this pain from the past informed your understanding of what you actually want. So the reason this is all happening is because you reflected. You thought about the past things that went on, the past situation, the past pain, what things were, what you would like. You reflected on it. You remembered. You reminisced. Right? clarifying it with the tree. So this is strong family bonds, right? But this is also about reflecting, thinking back to a better time, thinking back to a simpler time, Aquarius. So this is about you thinking about the sweeter aspects of your life before meeting someone or before this chapter, before things became complicated. Things were real simple. And you thought about that and you sat with that. And it's making it a lot easier for you to leave this past pain behind. All right. Now, if this is the person, the reason this is all happening, the reason they are in a space right now of connecting with you is because they are letting that go. They're letting the past go. Meeting you makes them realize the past was really not that serious to begin with. The best case scenario with strength is about holding, holding back. All right. But it's about, me it's about, it's about taking steps forward that are in perfect measure. So the best case scenario here is that you and this person overcome whatever challenge might, might be ahead. This is also about somebody who's been holding back their emotions, finally opening up. Clarifying with the coffin. All right. This is a massive change and this is also an eight. So I want to say this, if someone's been holding back Aqua, they won't be, they won't be for much longer. They can't. Someone here shares an intense connection that can't be ignored. And that's also true for those of you where this is a career situation. You're finding yourself moving forward, reflecting on past teamwork and partners and coworkers. And you're coming to a space now where you can't help but make, make a move that feels right to you. Coming in, you have the Nine of Pentacles. So this is about you, Aqua, standing in your, standing in your, just, uh, just standing in your, in your finest clothes, relaxing, enjoying nature, enjoying your health, enjoying your time, enjoying your money, enjoying nature. You feel secure. And you can feel secure all by yourself. You're happy. Being clarified with the fox. So it's interesting, Aqua, because this almost is like you feel like you got lucky or you feel like you... Because the fox is sneaky. Right? So it feels, it's almost like this imposter syndrome a little bit. Not quite the self-doubt, but it feels like you, you are going to be confronted with a feeling of sneaking away to be alone. Right? You're going to look for that time to be alone. You're going to look for that time to engage in the things that make you unique. So you're going to find yourself sort of slipping away, slipping away out of people's sights for a little while. To be alone. 
And I want to I want to say this, Aqua, if you're connecting with someone who in the future, in the near future, you find is acting a little sneakily, they just want to be alone. They just want to enjoy their hobbies and do things alone. They're not engaging with other people. They are acting single, but in a sense of they just want to do things that are solitary. They just want to do things for themselves. And it's just, it's an enjoyable process. It's, it's in the covert, it's kind of like slipping away, but it's enjoyable. How you see yourself, Aqua, is the king of wands. So you may be connecting with a fire sign, a Leo, Aries, Sagittarius being clarified by the house. So you see yourself as someone who is unshakable in your determination and ability. You're able to not just do for yourself, you can do for others. And you, there's no shortage of, of inspiration. There's no shortage of energy. You are a doer and you get it done and you execute the plan. You see yourself as not only very capable of having a house, a house, uh, uh, an actual house, but of having a household, of being the head of a family, being the breadwinner even, but being the person that really keeps the family together. You view yourself as somebody who is, at this moment in time, seeking greater stability, either with others or by yourself. But you see yourself as someone who is prepared for something serious, even if you're not right now in something serious. Now, the universe will be bringing you the Eight of Cups, okay? This is about an opportunity to examine what you have currently and decide how you want to move forward. Now, here is the thing. You right now, Aqua, are sitting in a space of the Two of Cups. The universe is giving you the Eight. This is the potential that you would need for the Ten of Cups, the, the true fulfillment, okay? So, in other words, the universe is going to give you an opportunity to embark on a long-term journey with this connection, with this path, with this person that will lead to the Ten of Cups. This person is available. Um, this person wants to be with you and wants to try this for the long haul. If this is a career situation for you or other uh, another personal growth type of situation, this is the opportunity for you to not just sit in this happy, happy energy, but like we were talking about with happiness becoming contentment over the long term, really sitting in this happiness, becoming familiar with it and allowing it to transform into the Ten of Cups, right? Contentment is not as stimulating as happiness, but it's way longer lasting, right? Clarified by loyalty. This is the dog, loyalty. They're loyal. Aqua, they are loyal. You will be loyal to the path, they will be loyal to the path. If this is a path outside of romantic relationship, you will be loyal to that path. Best friends too. Um, with the fear here as the nine of cups, the fear of being spoiled with the path, being spoiled with options, but also being so, so, um, so comfortable being alone that you may not want to move away from it is the feeling I'm getting. Perhaps even wanting so many things, wanting more than one thing perfectly, realizing that you can't, that's okay. You won't be confronted with this fear, Aqua, at all. There is no, there is not somebody here who wants their cake and eat, you know, who wants to have their cake and eat it too. There is, you don't have to worry about that, right? This is, this is as sincere as they come. This journey, this path is as dreamlike as they come. It is perfect and you are catching it at its, in its beginning stages. Not just at its beginning stages, but you will be given very shortly the opportunity to see it all the way through. In the outcome, we have the Three of Swords, right? So this is where we were getting at with somebody here is putting up their walls because they are getting to the heart of the matter. It's something here that's been very painful that someone's been dealing with. And with the Moon, the Nine of, the nine of Wands and the Two of Wands, this person is going to try to proceed with this same level of defense, this same level of keeping it to themselves, keeping the pain hidden, keeping the frustration hidden. It's not, it's not, it's not going to work out that way. It's too, it hurts too much. This is the whip, right? The whip, this is about punishments and pain over. It's repetitive over and over and over again. 
it's the lick of the whip and it hurts way too much. So while I don't see communication right here in the outcome, the thing is, Aqua, in the sense that this is moving through a, a, a situation, this is moving through a connection, I find that somebody, they're not going to actively avoid the connection. They're engaged in this connection. But you wear a good connection down by not communicating. And I'm finding that there is somebody here who is going to remain silent about, <clears throat> excuse me, about a very important event that occurred that they still bring into this connection today or to this path today. It is defensive and it leaves them defensive and it leaves them on this path of, of being alone. Um, and truthfully, I'm not sure that they've really thought it all the way through. I'm sure there's a level of reflection that's gone into this, but they're still, the, the pain is still very fresh. So let's see what the guidance is. What's the guidance here, please, for Aqua, March 2023? What is the guidance here for Aqua, March 2023, please? <sighs> Exchanging gifts. So this is about an exchange, Aqua, okay? Um, this is about giving and receiving. This to me feels like the six of pentacles, equal give and take. All right. This is, you may be connecting with a Virgo, 27 makes a nine, right? But this again is, is another nine. This is about being alone, being solitary. There's nothing wrong with being alone, right? Um, but there needs to be an understanding that if you want to have something greater than yourself, that requires an exchange with someone else. There is a need to open yourself up and vice versa. Of course, it's okay if someone is not ready. But if you are not ready to open up, then you are not ready for a relationship. Because a relationship that thrives will do so with two people who are prepared to communicate. Right? So if there is a block in communication... This is an excellent time, especially in this stage of the relationship, to set the tone. This is the time while the, the, the love in the air is still fresh and the, the heart is wanting to open most, to sit down and say, I know that you've been hurt. Or you have noticed, you may have noticed that I've been hurt. There's something I'm not ready to talk about completely but I'd like to open the discussion at that at, at the very least, right? Because you're not obligated to spill your heart out. But effort, effort speaks volumes. And I feel like you may be afraid or this person may be afraid that this new relationship is going to lead to more pain, lead to infidelity. There was a breach of trust in the past, right? What makes, what makes this person think that there won't be in the future? This person is loyal. This person loves you. And this person understands what long-term commitment means. But in order for this to prosper into a long-term commitment, both people need to put in, in the form of emotional investment, physical too, but right now, this is about emotional. Opening up and letting someone in on what's going on, right? And if someone is being guarded, nothing wrong with pointing it out um, and leaving the space open for when they are ready to discuss or bring anything up that they're ready to talk about, okay? Um, and for those of you where this is not love, this is career, this is personal growth, this is you by yourself doing your thing. Whatever you are doing, whatever path you are on, whatever energy you are engaging in, it is only as good as what it is also giving back. You are giving to it and it needs to give back. You cannot continue to pour and pour and pour of yourself into a path that strips you of your essence every single day. Okay, so as you move through this, 
you will find yourself in greater amounts of self-love, love for what you do, love for the people you do things with. Okay? But it is important, again, that if you would like to move forward with your goals on this path, whatever this is for you, you need to address the pain and ensure that that pain, excuse me, that pain is not, it is not grabbing a hold of your actions. Being in pain is one thing, withdrawing yourself because the pain hurts so much and now you're just not living your life. That needs to be addressed, okay? But the pain, discuss it, reflect on it, share it. And continue to move through what this, this beautiful opportunity has to offer you because you're clearly happy with it. Trust it. Trust it because this is actually one of the most positive experiences you'll have. Okay? So, Aqua, I'm going to leave you here, my friend. Thank you so much for allowing me to connect with you. I pray that this was helpful and clarifying to you. If you find that it was and you would like to leave a comment below, that would be awesome. I'd love to hear from you. Please remember, too, to like, share, and subscribe. If you'd like a personal reading, you can find my information, once again, in the description box below. And with that, Aqua, I will see you in about two weeks' time for the bi bi-weeklies, um, bi-monthly. Um, and I will see you soon. Take care. Back.